Externalities and Pollution tab here at DirtForMaterial.com. I'd like to tell you about the resources that you'll find in this portion of the website. The first thing I want to direct you to here is, is one of my uh, office hours uh, videos. It's uh, an activity that I do in class. It's called the Fishing Game. Um, this is a fantastic way to understand a lot of the complex issues that are involved in establishing property rights versus common property rights um, and how, uh, especially with respect to um, how we utilize the oceans around us, that individuals will tend to overuse a common resource. I do this by inviting a small number of students to the front of the room. I give them a fishing rod uh, and they actually then fish uh, on the floor of the, uh, the classroom and try to pick up different uh, animals uh, that are in the sea. Some of those animals are worth more, others are worth less, but what always happens every time is that the most valuable animals get over harvested and they become extinct or depleted from the ocean. When students see other students just engaged in basic self-interest trying to make a lot of money and the end result ends up being over harvesting of uh, species in the ocean, it's a very very powerful way of getting across this message and differentiating between, and this is the important point, between whether or not you're an environmentalist or an environmental economist. The only difference there is that economists, just like regular people, care about the environment, but what economists do is economists also ask, what are the costs and the benefits of an activity? And so it's not just about wanting to save species. We all want to save species. We all want to have less smoke uh, uh, in the air. We all want to have clean water to drink. We all want the same things. It's about, are the benefits worth it? Are they greater than the cost? Can we afford to actually uh, get these goals and achieve uh, these objectives? That's also portrayed in film and there's a couple of very powerful films that you'll want to look at in this section. One is The Cove, very powerful Japanese documentary. The other one is a civil action where the lead character is played by John Travolta. In both cases, right, the movie is going to make a very powerful point about what is it, what's the trade-off, what are the tensions between the economic costs and benefits, you know, and sometimes just simply doing the right thing. Uh, these are very, very powerful ways of motivating students and helping them learn and think. And finally, I would add here, there's also a, a really great song by Billy Joel. It's called uh, No Man's Land. And in No Man's Land, the idea is, the song sings about uh, suburban expansion and how cities have sort of crept out. Um, and so when cities creep out, what you end up is, uh, you end up in a, a no man's land where, for instance, the demand uh, is there for services, but the supply isn't yet there. Um, and so a very powerful connection between supply and demand uh, and economic growth and some of the costs and benefits of trying to achieve that growth, both in terms of uh, urban sprawl and uh, also in terms of just the way in which society functions. So a lot of great stuff here. Go check it all out. Have a great day.